Hello everyone, this is part 5 of my Pictures of the Past series in which I take old pictures of RuneScape and talk about them a bit and try and induce a bit of nostalgia, so I'll get right into it. The first picture here is just a basic Slayer one, uh, obviously getting a 78 Slayer. I thought it was interesting that I had a nose peg, so this was definitely before Slayer masks. Slayer was so much slower back then. I mean, first off, you didn't have bonuses, of course, from the helm, but you also had to heal using either food or guffins because you didn't have familiars or soul split to heal you. And I, I mean, I was a noob, so I didn't use any offensive prayers and I didn't use super potions or anything like that. But I think most of the Slayers back then didn't use that kind of stuff. Only a few of the really top high level ones were doing the max offensive stuff. Uh, I've also got the rune kite in my inventory, obviously no dragon defenders back then, so that was also a bit slower, and it looked a bit newbie in comparison to defenders now. Defenders look much better, I'd say, than, uh, than what kite shields look like, although that armor rework was pretty nice recently. So, yep, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Got my rock hammer, dragon battle axe with the attack and restore potions, so those would keep my strength and attack relatively high for an incredibly low cost. Um, DDS, which was actually a DDS back then. It, it used to be a Dragon Dagger with a S for Super Poisoned, and now it's P++. They changed it from that. I remember their reasoning was because they thought that people would think the S signified like a Ceradomen item. Didn't make much sense to me. I mean, people still call them DDS, which is pretty impressive considering how long ago they changed that. So... Just a little bit of history. Also, uh, on that note, um, this isn't really related to the picture, just going off on a DDS tangent here, but when farming came out, the uh, DDS, that was one of the main things that you'd make money off of farming. So, um, I guess it must have, but what does it take? A belladonna, coconut milk, and poison ivy berries, I believe. So, it's pretty significant in terms of collection of supplies. I know Belladonna takes quite a while to grow, and now you can pick them up in Gutenoff, but I don't think you could back then. And I remember you could sell the Weapon Poison++ plus plus for around 200k apiece, at least for a bit, when farming came out, because yeah, not many people were high farming at that point. So that was pretty cool, definitely a good way for people to make money off of farming. And I'm not exactly sure why it was worth so much, because Poison doesn't really do a whole lot, to be honest. It wasn't any better back then than it is now. So, a bit strange. Anyway, continuing on, second picture, uh, just a frog mask and frog outfit mask here. I'm not quite sure what we were doing, um, just random little hangout, I guess. Back then, when you got random events, first off, you had the dangerous ones, like Dr. Jekyll slash Mr. Hyde, and the swarms, and the drunken dwarf, and oh, evil chicken, of course. Evil chicken is probably the most famous one. Um, Back then, those things could actually kill you first off, so random events were somewhat dangerous. And then also, when you finished a random event, unlike now how you get a mystery box and you get to choose pretty much whatever reward you want, back then you were given a specific reward. So I think you only got experience stamps from the genie event, so that was not quite as nice. They have definitely improved randoms quite a bit. I feel like there are some randoms that, besides the combat ones, I feel like they took some out, but I can't remember them. I should go take a look at a list and see all the random events. Um, but anyway, this was definitely back when I was a noob. I mean, I don't even have the climb rope and glass box emotes unlocked, and yeah, I had been playing for over a year at this point, or around a year at this point, so that's pretty impressive. I mean, back then, it must have been much harder to get those ones, or maybe I just played a lot less. More likely, I just played a lot less. Um, also, random events were definitely much more common back then. They made them much less common when they did that random event rework, so yeah, they used to be much more common than they are now. Um, continuing on... Ah uh, yes, I, I have a few more pictures like this one in this video, but uh, yeah, training on the Shadow Warriors in the Legends Guild. And this actually used to be something that a lot of people would do. They have 100 health, or, well, 100 health back then. It's 1,000 life points now. So, uh, yeah, not really a whole lot to say here. Um, let's see, 85 strength. I was keeping my stats pretty even there. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say about that. Just training on Shadow Warriors there. I guess it was decent training at the time. It, looking back on it now, it's not good at all, but it was, yeah, it was good at the time. I should have been using a salve amulet or something on skeletons. 
that would have been better, but yeah, not all that many options at the time. Okay, here we are. This is the Christmas event for it must have been 2005. Or no, sorry, 2006, because I started in 2005. So Christmas 2006 with Santa's workshop. Um, yeah, making packages and toys and... Oh yeah, making the uh, marionettes. I vaguely remember that. Um, oh yeah, and of course they stuck it in Verox Center. <laughs> they were still doing it back then, even as they are now. I mean, right now we've got the Gilmer Games thing right there. But it does seem to be a nice central location. Just looking at the area, though, it's so much different. Like, all the walls are so much smaller, and it seems like... I don't know, it seems like everything is smaller. Maybe it's just because I'm on fixed screen, but that's sort of interesting. And here, just a closer-up picture of the tree. That was probably the biggest tree in RuneScape at the time. I'm not sure if there are any bigger trees at the moment, but it's definitely quite a large tree. I mean, besides the grand tree, of course, that's not really fair. Ah yes, and uh, this was from the same event. You had to grab the imp, or the, yeah, you had to grab the imps. So I'm not exactly sure why. Don't quite remember, but anyway. Next, oh yes, killing bronze dragons, uh, and they look very orange. And yeah, <laughs> the fireball effect looks pretty much the same though, doesn't it? That's a bit odd. Black demons, yep, yeah, still in their old form there. Not quite as impressive as they are now, but. Not terrible, I guess. And yes, I am using an inventory of lobsters, no prayer. Awesome. I'm not sure why I'm not using my guffins here, to be honest. Or at least not the armor for it. As, and as you can see in the chat there, I've got them for Slayer, only nine more. The guy there has seven more and the other one has two more. And the other one has no more. And wow, that's a lot of people at Bronze Dragons. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Um... Anyway, continuing on. Farming. I just got unlocked bitter cap mushrooms. I'm not exactly sure what farming level that is. Off the top of my head, I would say that it's level 63 or 68 or 73, but I'm not actually sure. Actually, 63 just sounds familiar. Um, so anyway, farming tomatoes and renars, and I'm not sure what, uh, what flower I'm using. Uh, I've got my Slayer gem, so I guess I was doing it in between Slayer tasks, which makes sense. That's a good way to do it. Yep, that's it for that. And this one's a little odd. I mean, I assume I was just killing the uh, giant rock crabs in order to make rock shell stuff. I'm not sure how much it would actually sell for at the time. I can't imagine it would be very good at all. And also just the rate that you kill them using Varex is very slow. I mean, it's better than like using a whip or something but it's still quite slow. I'm not sure why I wasn't maging them. I'm not exactly sure when the Waterbirth dungeon came out, but it probably wasn't too far after that, otherwise I wouldn't have bothered there. And a treasure trail. Uh, huh, pretty horrible one, to be honest. Although, actually back then, Black Dragonhide was actually worth something. I believe Black Dragonhide sets were around 40k a piece. I remember when they came out with the Grand Exchange, the Black Dragon Hide sets were 30 to 35k each, and then they dropped down to somewhere around what they are now, which is, I don't know, like 10k each, I'd say. So I guess that was, I mean, it still wasn't great at the time, but it wasn't as bad as it would be now. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I just want to finish it off with one amusing image. I've got all these random funny pictures, not all of them like this, but a few. So um, here we are. I recommend if you're just listening to this video that you look at the screen now because it's too much for me to read out. It wouldn't really be as funny if I had to read it out. So um, the picture for this is also in the description if you want to see it there rather than having to adjust to view in high quality to read the text maybe. But yep, yeah, that's everything. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the series, please subscribe and comment and it'll keep me motivated to make more. I just went through a bunch of my folders and rearranged some images so that I can access them more easily, so there shouldn't be as long of a delay between this one and the next one as there was between this one and the previous one. And yep, yeah, that's everything. Thank you for watching.